And last year, in this same meeting, on the same night, on yeah. Friday night, my friend Jenny Coney, standing right, she's a member of Living Word. Where, where were you sitting in the back? No, we were sitting right over there. Yep. <clears throat> and she was bound in it's upside this. upside down. Sorry. I don't even know what this contraption looks like. She, her neck was broken and uh, her back was broken. And she was bound in this contraption. And so Jenny's going to tell you about what happened to her. A month before um, the conference, I fell off a ladder. And what were you doing? I was painting. Painting, yes. Okay. I, and I fell off a ladder, and I broke my neck and my back in two places. Now, you didn't tell him. To, 13 feet, she fell. Yeah, I fell 13 onto feet. Onto a, a metal? It was um, a pipe that she I fell, fell onto, onto, onto across my shoulders. And um, the break in my neck, it was my C7, and it's called a burst with a retropulsion. So the inside of my vertebrae exploded. And the outside had a bunch of fractures, and then it pushed towards my spinal column. So it was pushing out. So we came to the service last year on Friday night, and Brother Copeland got done teaching. Well, tell him what you would believe in first. Oh, I was believing for <laughs> expecting a miracle. Amen. And so... And tell him the scripture. Oh, in my scripture. <laughs> <laughs> Whose testimony is this, anyway? Well, I, I, I know. To get she whole, knows it. <laughs> I want her to get the whole story. You have to know the story. God gave me a scripture in um, Luke 8, 48. And it says, and he said unto her, your faith, your trust, your confidence in me has made you well. Go enter into peace, undisturbed well-being. And so I stood on that scripture and a bunch of other healing scriptures. And we came that night and I was expecting. And so Brother Copeland was walking back and forth after he was done teaching. And all of a sudden he stopped. And he goes, somebody's getting healed back here. And I was like, oh. And he said, you won't have to have any surgery because they were looking to fuse my whole neck where I wouldn't be able to move it. And then he said, as a matter of fact, you're getting a brand new vertebrae. And I said, looked at my husband, I said, I receive it and claim it. And so we went home that night and I got up the next morning and God said to me, feel the back of your neck because it stuck out. And so I feel the back of my neck, and it was in place. My vertebrae went back into place. <laughs> but, and the greatest thing is, is I got to go to my doctor in two weeks. God told me to be patient, which was very hard. And I went to my doctor, and they took the x-rays, and I asked him, I said, what do you see? And he, sees, he says to me, I see a new vertebrae. He goes... It's like a baby, and it needs to mature. Wow. Isn't that amazing? And so two weeks after that, I went back for another appointment, and with this, they took off that piece right there. And so I just had the neck piece, and then two weeks after that, I came back. They took this off and started um, physical therapy, which I only had to go three times. Three months after my fall, which they told me in the hospital, I was supposed to be paralyzed and in a wheelchair now, okay? That it would take me 18 months to recover, even if I had the surgery. And within three months, I had everything off, and I ran 10 miles. Hallelujah. <laughs> We give you the glory, Jesus. We give you the glory. Isn't that marvelous? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.